In this video, we will be studying about the census method of collection of data. See, when you collect the data from uh, covering every item of the sample or every item of the universal population which is connected to your investigation or study, that is the census method. That is, you want to find out the population of India. So what do you do? You collect the data for all the persons, all the people in India. So this is the universe. So you are collecting the data of the universe of the particular investigation. What is the investigation? Your population. Right? Your universe is all the people of India. So, it is that method in which data are collected covering every item of the universe or population relating to the problem under investigation. Now let's suppose you uh, have to find out the color composition of Maruti. Of Maruti. Cars in India. Now you have to collect the data of each color of each and every Maruti car that is sold in India. So in that case, this is your census method of collection of data. Census method implies complete enumeration of the universe or population. Census of population is the most suitable example of the census method. That is population of India if you have to calculate which means you have to go to house to house and you have to conduct an inquiry about every person living even at the roadside you have to contact and you have to find out the population of India. So this is the census method of collection of data. Now the merits and demerits. The merits are reliable and accurate source of data. See results based on census method are more accurate and highly reliable because this includes your direct investigation and the investigation from the whole universe or the population. This is less biased. Third is extensive information. A lot of information is collected from this method. The fourth is study of diverse characteristics by using sensitive method one can study diverse characteristics of the universe study of complex investigation if you have very difficult investigation to do then this method is most suitable then is your indirect investigation Sensitive method can be successfully used in indirect investigation relating to unemployment, poverty, corruption, etc. Now, what are the uh, demerits? See, it is very costly because you have to collect the data from each and every person. Large manpower is required to collect this data. So, this is very time consuming. And 
If the universe comprises a large number of items, then it may not be possible to cover each and every item. So, census method becomes practically inoperative in such situation. So, not suitable for very large investigation. These are your merits and demerits of the census method. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.